it takes an insane amount of time and dedication and sacrifice uh, to compete at this level in tournament bass fishing. In the morning, you have to get up, look at the map, get your mind right for the day, and get a game plan going. You have to have game plan A, B, and C, and possibly D, E, and F all lined up, ready to go that day, because you never know what Mother Nature's gonna throw at you. That alarm goes off every single day. It doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, 100 degrees and 100% humidity. It's time to go put in work. I always put in 30 minutes before the sun comes up and take the boat out 30 minutes after the sun goes down. And honestly, I don't know how else to do it other than work that hard. fishing. It's what allows you to gain knowledge and make your game plans that are going to help you make those decisions on the fly to break down a lake and catch the fish that it's going to take to win an event. So every single minute of daylight we have in practice, with only two days of practice, you better be taking advantage of it. day I, I launched on this end of the lake and ended up fishing all the way on the other end by the end of the day so I really don't know what to well I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get up in an area where I've caught some scoreable bass first day of practice not many but I didn't spend a whole lot of time but I caught some uh, and I'm just flipping cypress trees up there I tried to fish a lot of grass today I tried to do other things get the cypress trees out of my mind and I just don't catch fish when I get away from them. So, and you gotta go out there uh, in the tournament with the open mind. You know, I'm not, I know where I'm gonna start, but I gotta be willing to change uh, because everything's gonna be changing as this week goes on. I kinda like it, honestly, uh, you know, where my mind's at with this one because I've only got like probably four or five rods that I wanna put on the deck and I've got one big area that I wanna fish. You can't ask for a whole lot more than that. I just have a fish bite, you know, obviously you could ask for that. So I'm, I don't feel like I'm behind the game right now. I feel like I just gotta go out there and put it together on the first day of the tournament. This is Major League Fishing's Bass Pro Tour. It's the Toro Stage One, Sam Rayburn presented by Power Pole. Big Sam showed out a little bit on day number one. But we're back for more on day two of our season opening event on the Bass Pro Tour at Sam Rayburn Reservoir in East Texas. All right. Now we are good. Five, four, three, two, one, fly. All right. Let's get the party started. What is there to run down today? I caught two fish. I caught several 114s, it seemed like, and just didn't, it just didn't happen. I don't know. I got way that less bites than I did scorable. even the other day in practice. The water's falling some. I thought that helped. I just don't know. I don't get it. The water's 62 to 64 degrees, and they're not on the bank. That doesn't, and it's almost the end of March. So I got to do something totally different. I don't know what. The good news is, there is good news. We're only like five pounds out of the cut right now. So I know pounds, this lake's throwing me, uh, throwing two, me a curveball. That's for yeah. sure. The mindset's still good. Just gotta go out there and catch them. That's all there is to it. I'm like, I feel like I'm being totally challenged by this lake right now. So I want to beat it and don't let it beat me at this point.
The thing about tournament bass fishing is we don't have as many events as golf or even football or any other sport for that matter. We really have anywhere from eight to 12 events a year to win. And with 80 guys competing at this level, uh, the chances of winning are very, very slim. So it's extremely hard to win. Uh, these events are multiple days, obviously. And to be able to stay on top of fish, to be able to stay on top of an animal that you can't see that's under the water hiding from you at all times, uh, it's so hard to make enough good decisions Five, four days in four, a row three, to be able to win. Two, one. This is Major League Fishing's Bass Pro Tour. It's the Toro Stage 1 Sam Rayburn presented by Power Pole. Little foggy morning overcast at Big Sam, Sam Rayburn Reservoir in East Texas. To our second group of 40 trying to Texas two step into the knockout round. To do that, you must bag Big Bass on Big Sam. The old full hand grab on her. Why not? You know what, Jim? That's not a 114. Three pounds, three ounces. Three pounds, four ounces. Oh, three, four. Ah, finally! Oh my God! We got a bass early. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's a big one if it's a bass, dude. Oh my god. I got you. Oh, I got you. Justin I'm Lucas. Not go of you. He's in 26th oh place now. Bass. He caught just two scoreable bass on day one, but he's making the most of day number two. Ten pounds, eight ounces here on day two. And that includes this nice seven four. That's all you need. You know, you fish you fish so freaking hard, I get frustrated. Uh, just nothing going right. And then you get that one bite and it's just like light switch. Everything changes and uh, man, just an amazing day. You know, I feel like I won the tournament and it's only the first cut. So it was just awesome. I'm ready to go rig tackle and uh, go after it tomorrow in the knockout round and catch them. This is Major League Fishing's Bass Pro Tour. We've got three full periods to determine which 38 will be in the final eight moving on to the championship round at Sam Rayburn Reservoir. It is the knockout round. Eight will move on. They will join the automatic qualifiers Ot Defoe and Gerald Spore in tomorrow's championship round. And we've got you fully covered. There's so many lows in our sport that it makes that high an unbelievable feeling. And it's just, it's this natural drug that I'm just trying to chase and trying to get all the time. I, can, I, I don't feel like I can stop. Like, it's the most addicting thing in the world for me. And I literally love every single second of it. I got you, baby. I got you, baby. Yeah. That's a great big one. We move over to Shin Fukai's boat and get our first look on the water at Justin Lucas today. He's got a good start. Had a 5'12 earlier. Two scoreable bass so far. Seven pounds, 12 ounces. Shin likes it. Wow. That's a nice one. Lucas, he may take the lead with that one. Just keep that mouth open, keep that mouth open. I got you! Yeah. Boom! Oh, yeah, baby! That is a fat pre spawn female. Five three. Woo -hoo. Dude. That's how you make a little comeback right there, like two in a row like that. I'm having fun. 
yesterday at 10 30 in the morning i was not having fun now i'm having fun Come off, do not come off. Oh my gosh. Oh dude, my heart is going all of a sudden a million miles an hour. This is a freaking toad. Dude, I think she's hung in this grass. No, 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 no. The one thing that's a guarantee in tournament please, pass fishing please, 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 is please. you're gonna have still setbacks. There. Oh my Adversity. god, dude, she's so big. Challenges, all that are unforeseen. She's so and big. She... You're gonna lose big fish. You guys saw that with me. I lost big fish oh. at the same Rayburn event. But you have to put those on the back burner. You can't change it once it happens. I can't help myself. I have to show emotion. I'm working so hard trying to get these bites. And when you fail to put them in the boat, uh, there's nothing else, you know, I feel like you can do other than show some emotion for the loss and the time that it took to get that bite and then to, to lose it. Um, but again, you have to put that on the backside. You got to move forward. And that's just part of the game that is going to happen. And it's how you react to those things and how you come back from those things that makes a true champion. I mean, honestly, an amazing day minus losing that giant fish. Uh, other than that, though, I executed great. I caught the fish the bit. I expanded on water. I won the round. I mean, it's honestly not much more you can ask for. The only thing I can complain about is that big one. I'm really excited to get out there tomorrow. I think, I hope, I can keep catching a few. Probably gonna be a lot more people out there. It's Friday, but it's Sam Rayburn. These fish are used to it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. This is Major League Fishing's Bass Pro Tour. Sunrise at Sam Rayburn Reservoir. It's all going down in East Texas. Dreams of a $100,000 payday on the minds of our 10 championship round anglers. It's becoming old hat to Justin Lucas. He may very well just be the man to beat in quest of a second Bass Pro Tour stage championship. 10 Titans slugging it out in East Texas to win $100,000 and a Bass Pro Tour title you must bag the biggest bass on Big Sam today. No one out here yesterday at all. I just felt like I really had an area that had potential to win the tournament. And it's not very often you get that feeling going into the final day, like that you have this area that has potential to win the event. Um, but I, I felt I felt that way. And you know, I lost some big fish today, but I don't know if it would have been enough to, to actually, you know, win the event. Um, but it's okay. You know, I didn't execute perfectly and that's on me, you know, those big fish. They don't mean anything at the end of the day. Um, they're just lost fish and they don't go on the scale. You know, but it's so easy when you're not, when things aren't going your way and everything, literally you feel like everything's against you. It's hard to stay positive. Uh, but that one bite, again, you know, that one bite changed everything for me. I woke up at 2.30 this morning. I was so fired up to go fishing today. So I just had a really good time. The championship round, top 10, and ended up finishing fifth overall for the event. So, man. I, if you would have told me after my practice and after a day and a half into the tournament that I was going to finish fifth, I would have, you know, I probably would have bet a lot of money that wasn't going to happen with the way things were looking. I'm feeling good and I was able to carry that momentum from last year into this year and hopefully we can keep it rolling all through 2021.
This is Major League Fishing's Bass Pro Tour, Stage 2, Austin. <laughs> 